Oh, we're back. We are back. We are back. Before this video starts, guys, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification button. I'm going to drop down a little more. And stay tuned for future content on the channel. If we could get 20 likes on this video, that'd be amazing. So smash that like button and let's hop in to my top six productivity apps that I use on my S21 in 2021. I'm gonna be uh, having on-screen footage of the apps I mentioned in this video on screen here, either on this side or this side. I'll see in post editing. But yeah, let's hop into the video guys. Let's get it, okay. Number one on our list, we have Todoist. This is the app I'm currently organizing all my notes for this video in and how I plan out literally every single video for my YouTube workflow, as well as my podcast workflow. If you haven't checked that out yet, I have a podcast it's called Unwrapping Success. Go check it out. It's an amazing podcast. We do tips and tricks on how to succeed, productivity stuff, motivational stuff, philosophical discussions, all that kind of stuff. Fun stuff. Great podcast. So yeah, Todoist, not only for productivity workflow, planning, organization, stuff like that, also a great like checklist app where I can make checklists. I can write down things I want to accomplish throughout the day or week or month or year. Just check them off as I go so I can stay organized and get stuff done because I find you get more stuff done when you actually write it down either on a piece of paper or in your phone. So go download Todoist, this is not a sponsored video, but I highly recommend this application because it's not only on Android and Apple or iOS, it's also available on PC and it synchronizes up, it syncs up perfectly between the two, it's amazing. And it's also free, there is a paid version as well. The second one on our list is an app called Forest. This app was based on a research study that basically looked at how people can increase their productivity and how they can stay focused on a specific task. And what they found was if you work in intervals of 25 minutes while taking five minute breaks, you can get a lot more done than if you were to work an hour straight because then your brain starts getting all messed up, can't concentrate as well, and you won't get as much done. So they found 25 minutes is the sweet spot. What this app does is basically all based around agriculture and growing a tree. So when you click start, it'll start a timer for 25 minutes. And then as the 25 minutes goes on and, and the time winds down, the tree will grow and overall you can like plant more trees in your garden. You can unlock new things. It's, it's a really interesting concept based on positive reinforcement in psychology. So highly recommend that app if you wanna get more done in a short amount of time. Next app uh, I'm gonna be talking about is YouTube Studio. This is a great app for checking analytics on the go. It's very simple. I can check uh, how many views my videos get. I can also upload videos on the go without going on to my computer over here. Say I'm out and about and I want to edit a title, description, tags, that sort of thing. Schedule a video upload or premiere a new video. I can do that all from my smartphone. I can also upload thumbnails on here if I want to alter a thumbnail. But the main just the main usefulness of the YouTube Studio app is checking analytics. I can check uh, how many views my videos get, how many subs I'm gaining every day, how much revenue I'm making from my videos. It's it's really useful and it's a great tool for on-the-go analytic checking instead of checking on my PC. The next app we have here is Anchor. Uh, as I mentioned, I do have a podcast. Anchor is the main uh, tool I use for distributing my podcast across all podcast platforms. It's a very simple, easy to use application. If you haven't downloaded Anchor and you want to run a podcast, go download it. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. What this does is, is I can check analytics on the go, similar to YouTube, but just for my podcast. I can go check how many views a certain episode gets. I can track my views over time, check demographics, uh, where people are listening to my podcast from, uh, locations, demographics in terms of uh, audience, like how old my viewers are, where they come from, all that stuff. The thing that's most useful is like, what podcast platforms am I actually getting listens from? And it can show you that information as well. Very useful, and I can also edit uh, podcasts on there, like titles, and I can. you can also upload podcasts on the Anchor app. So say all you have is a smartphone, you wanna start a podcast, you can just record on the app natively using your smartphone, or if you have an external microphone like I showed in my previous video, lavalier mic, just plug it in, record a podcast on your phone, upload it, bam, you have your own podcast all on the app. It's a great app. Next we have Samsung Notes. This is pretty basic. It's simpler. It's similar to any Notes app, like on uh, iOS, the no Notes app, very similar. 
basically taking notes, organizing ideas, that sort of stuff, making lists uh, if I want to buy something, making lists if I want to plan something, organize something, all that kind of stuff. If something catches my attention, I'm out and I don't have a pen and paper, I can just write it down on my phone so I don't remember. It's mainly a memory tool for me. I have lists of my poker winnings. Uh, I'm a big poker player, so I like to track that information over time just so I don't, my piece is going crazy over here right now. I don't know why. I can track my poker winnings and losses over time just so I can like be updated on that sort of stuff. And if anyone recommends something to me, I can just write it down in my notes app. Samsung calendar, don't use this too much, but it is a very useful tool just for uh, marking dates on the calendar year. So I don't forget when stuff is. I'd say the main purpose of this is remembering birthdays because I'm really bad at that. So what I do is once someone tells me their birthday, I will write it down in Samsung calendar. I don't use Google calendar. People love Google Calendar, but I find Samsung Calendar is perfectly good. I'm in the Samsung ecosystem. It works. If it works, it works. That's my rationale for it. So Samsung Calendar, that's my main tool for remembering birthdays and other important dates and holidays and stuff like that. So those are my top six productivity apps that I use right now uh, to stay focused and get more stuff done throughout the day. If you guys have any recommendations on other apps I should use, leave those in the comment section down below. I appreciate all you guys uh, listening to my videos, watching my videos, commenting on my videos, trying to grow to a thousand subs. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you guys can know exactly when I upload. And yeah, Galaxy Buds giveaway. I don't have them with me, they're over there. Galaxy Buds Pros giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So please hit that bell notification and the subscribe button. And like this video and share it because it boosts it in the YouTube algorithm and helps me out a bunch. I'm also gonna be setting up a donation link uh, just via PayPal if you wanna like donate to me. All those funds will go directly back into the business, go back into investing in more technology to review on this channel. I'm currently working with a company right now to get some products uh, sent over to me, which I can take a look at use this desk unbox therapy setup, use it to its full potential, I'm excited about that. And if you have any tech recommendations, always leave those in the comments section down below. I will review any tech you guys recommend to me. I know those uh, new, what is it, Beats earbuds just came out. I know a lot of YouTubers doing videos on that. Windows 11 just came out. A lot of new tech news going on right now. It's exciting. So I will see you guys in the next upcoming video from Scott Tyler. I appreciate all you guys. Peace out guys.